Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to take my most recent quilt top and I'm going to quilt it very simply and show you how to do it. Let's get started. The first thing to do of course when you're quilting a quilt is to get your quilt sandwich made and I will be using the 505 temporary adhesive spray to put my layers together. I spray a little bit on the batting and then I smooth the quilt top on top of the batting. I turn it over and do the same with the backing fabric. I will leave the links below on how to make this bow tie quilt block and I have another video on how I put my blocks together into this quilt. Today I am quilting this quilt really the easiest way that I know how and that's with my Juki machine I will be making straight lines diagonally through my quilt. Now I'm able to eyeball the straight line through all of the blocks but when I get to this border I'm not able to eyeball that line, that diagonal line. So I used my ruler, I lined it up with the quilt block, and then I added my quilting line markings with some painter's tape. I'm using a little bit larger stitch as I quilt through my quilt and I'm just going like I said from corner to corner through all of my quilt blocks. I wanted to mention here that with some sewing machines the results will be better if you use a walking foot. With this sewing machine I have found that it does just fine with the regular uh, sewing machine foot. I don't need to use a walking foot. It does come with a walking foot but I'm able to just use this regular foot and I can actually go just a little bit faster and I have no trouble but I know some machines you would need to use a walking foot if you're doing this kind of quilting.
The nice thing about using painter's tape is you can reuse it. I just move it along as I go row by row and I use my ruler as I go just kind of one or two rows at a time. After I worked through my quilt going one direction with these diagonal lines, I turned the quilt and I started going the opposite way with my diagonal lines all the way through the quilt and typically I will start in the middle and move out from there. This is the easiest way that I know to quilt a quilt, just straight lines diagonally through the quilt. And after quilting it, I trimmed the edges using my quilt top as my guide, and then I added binding to the back first, then rolled it to the front, and top stitched all the way around. I have videos on how to add binding to a quilt, and I'll list those below. This was such an easy quilt to quilt using those squares and those quilt blocks as my guide and just a little bit of tape in the borders. I have more videos on how to quilt and how to add binding. I know I didn't um, touch on the binding really thoroughly today, but I have done that before. I'll leave some of those down below in the description box. I always enjoy sewing with you. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.